The Bee Balm plant is a pollinator feast with the long bloom season as well as being a useful herb. It's also called wild bergamot or bergamot. It's in the genus Monarda and many people call it by this name as well. The Bee Balm plant is native to North America and it's in the mint family. It's extremely easy to grow. If you don't want bee balm to spread in your garden, plant it in a pot and then bury the pot in the ground up to the room to keep it contained. Due to its increased popularity in recent years, many new cultivars are now available, including shorter dwarf varieties that look amazing in a more tidy garden setting. Bee balm attracts a number of specialist bees, bumblebees, predatory wasps, hummingbirds, and hummingbird moths. It's a wonderful addition to any pollinator garden. And for anyone who loves to watch the busy flurry of activity from our precious pollinators, this plant is sure to put on an amazing show. The bloom season of the bee balm plant is from the beginning of summer through early fall. If you keep up with deadheading, this will prolong the bloom season a lot. To deadhead the spent bee balm flowers, simply cut off the old flower just above the first set of new leaves on the stem. Bee balm is a perennial, which means it comes back every year. Bee balm plants prefer moist, rich soil, high in organic matter, and in a sunny location. Although it will tolerate afternoon shade, particularly in hot summer areas, to prevent drying out and wilting in the blazing afternoon sun. Bee balm can be started from seed, but it's so much easier just to propagate it. This is because bee balm spreads through rhizomes or runners, little roots that spread under the ground and then pop up above the ground to produce a new baby plant. You can dig up these baby plants and as long as you get some of the root system of the new plant, you can easily transplant it into a new pot or location in the garden. To harvest bee balm seeds, simply cut off the old flower, being careful not to spill any of the seeds out. Put it over a container and then shake the seeds carefully into it so that you can save them. Bee balm leaves and flower petals can be used to make a soothing and delicious tea. It's often said to be good for colds and easing digestion. It also has a calming effect that can be helpful for stress and anxiety. It smells like bergamot and has a delicious herbal flavor of mint, oregano, with slight undertones of pepper. The bee balm plant is a wonderful addition to any garden and with its long bloom season, the amount of pollinators it supports, and how useful it is to people, no garden should be without it. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and don't forget, likes and subscribes help save the bees.